Why hello you amazing beautiful people welcome back to another first time reaction video so it is no secret how much I love 86. I think 86 is just a freaking incredible anime I would love more of it I think if you haven't seen it you are totally missing out and literally just a few days ago Hiroki Sawano decided to release 86's song Avid Live and I cannot wait to check this one out. This is awesome. This is my favorite song from 86. It is a freaking masterpiece of a song. And I cannot wait to check out the live version of this, man. It is a very emotional, very heavy, very powerful and beautiful freaking song. This is going to be a lot of fun. So, you got any more recommendations? Press that like button, subscribe, and leave a comment down below. What else would you like to see on this channel? And also, don't forget to check out our store, gotgamesclothing.com. We ship worldwide, and we just brought out a new stainless steel bottle and a new mug as well. So go check those out. Link in the description. Let's jump into my first time ever reaction to Hiroki Sawano performing live, Avid from 86. Ah, oh, this song, man. Just pressing play immediately. It is a beautiful song. I honestly feel like 86 would just have to be in my top five forever, man. It's just such a fantastic anime. And this song hits like a fucking truck. It so does. It just it hits so hard. The emotion behind this song, the scenes, the meaning. Oh, it's just perfect for 86. I love the openings, but this ending, oh, awesome song. Sounds even better live. Oceans, you're calling me. <sighs> Do you know what the awesome thing about this as well is? Both both the Japanese and English version of this song are just as good as each other. Like, it is, it's amazing how good they both are. Oh, my word, I'm having flashbacks, man. <laughs> I love this song so much. Oh, hearing this performed live as well and hearing how fantastic the vocals sound how how much more utility you get in the instrumental how much more prominent that violin is being in this performance as well and oh man how calm cool and collected our oh, man Hiroki Sawano is being and just just how perfect this song sounds live it was made to be performed live oh I, if you're if you haven't seen if you haven't seen 86 I, I feel sorry for you you're missing out Big time. Oh. I really feel like you can tell how good an anime is going to be from its music. Not all the time, but a lot of the time. This is a, a, a Mizuki, right? I love how much Mizuki is embodying the emotions here. 
like so much for a song that is very emotional and has a lot of emotional depth and meaning to it and weight especially with the scenes that this song is used for in the anime to be able to embody those emotions like we are hearing right now in her voice with the quivers with the breaks and everything like that with the facial expressions you can see how much mizuki is feeling this really just makes the song hit even harder <laughs> I never realized how great that bass was on this too. I just wanted to, to comment on the freaking lighting. <laughs> I know that sounds insane. Um, but yeah, I just kind of wanted to comment on the lighting as well. <laughs> I, I, <laughs> just everything is perfect. The lights, the lights just across the crowd. Oh, shit, man. I'm getting teary eyed. <laughs> oh, this is so Oh, that violin is beautiful. Everything. Everything. From the violin to the guitar to the amazing piano work from Hiroyuki to the freaking drums. Everything is so unbelievably flawless on this. It is insane. Oh, Mizuki has such a good voice. <laughs> This is such a masterfully crafted song. The squeaks in Mizuki's voice. Outstanding. Outstanding. An absolutely outstanding performance of an incredibly emotional and powerful song from an absolute 10 out of 10 anime, man. Are you kidding me? It doesn't get better than this. This is fantastic. <laughs> oh, man. I want more 86, but at the same time, I don't. I do and I don't. <clears throat> you know, it hurts, but it feels so good. Oh, man. 86 season one was brutality. And then, like, the first half of season two was brutality. But then it got a little bit less brutal, but then it got a little bit more brutal. Oh man, did actually you know what now I think about it, it never it never really stopped being brutal. It just dragged out the brutality. <laughs> oh When 86 was like So 86 was in most of my Twitch tournaments. It was like in every single one, but it never won. And then <clears throat> You can watch all my 86 reactions on the second channel, by the way. GOT Extra, they're all uploaded there. But yeah, it was like, it never won in the Twitch tournaments. It was always close to winning, but it never won. And then Dr. Stone was the same. It was always close to winning, but it never won. And then one day, um, the Dr. Stone fan base and the 86 fan base literally made an agreement. This is in my Twitch chat. And they were like, look, we'll vote for 86 if next time you vote for Dr. Stone. And they all united and they made an agreement. And that is exactly what they did. Um, and then 86 won, and then Dr. Stone won. Um, and yeah, they were both just absolutely brilliant choices. Dr. Stone being incredibly fun. Really, like, I'd say season one of Dr. Stone was just fantastic. And the first episode is one of my favorite first episodes of an anime. It's, fa it's just brilliant. I love that kind of, like, progression stuff. I thought it was brilliant. But 86 throws you in the deep end immediately. The first episode just hitting so hard and getting so heavy. 
and it just maintains all of that throughout every single episode all the emotions are just like right there on the surface and it feels dark and it's terrifying and but it's weird it has this really nice like heart to it and it's just an incredibly well done anime and the music is flawless Hiroki Suano delivered one of his best soundtracks ever on 86 creating some of his best work in my opinion and I think Avid is is truly one of my all-time favorite Hiroki Suano songs and creations I think in terms of all the emotions it embodies and everything this song is, I just love it. I absolutely love it. Fantastic freaking song. And hearing it perform live just makes you realize this song just doesn't miss. It sounded even better live. Mizuki has fantastic vocals and it really highlighted the instrumental use as well in this live performance. I felt like every single new verse... Every single new bar or new line, a different instrument was taking the spotlight, which I thought was like really nice showcase of composition from Hiroki Sueno there as well. Just a fantastic freaking freaking performance. I know there's been a few more songs as well, so let me know if you want to see me react to the other performances Hiroki Sueno has recently released. Uh, put them in that comment section down below if you'd like to see those here on this channel. And if you enjoyed this reaction, please consider pressing the like button and subscribing to the channel for more. Also, please go check out gotgamesclothing.com. I'm really proud of the store, and we've just released a new stainless steel water bottle and a new mug, and they ship worldwide. Link to it is in the description. I'd really appreciate it if you guys checked it out. And yeah, thank you so much for watching. Have an awesome day, and as always, my friends, you will see me in the next video.